the that are, you are the uh, partnership manager of Artisans Uncle. Yeah. You know, a place where you make a lot of, uh, let's say, authentic Cambodian product, decorative yes. products made from, you know, um, very traditional uh, materials, stone, silverware, silk, and mm -hmm. uh, many other related products. Uh. Yes. Uh, Mr. Dara, because Artisans Uncle have been around from I think more than 25 years and um, sure. inside the web page you mentioned something very interesting yeah uh, the institution became a reality after a restoration at the terrace of the elephant at the Bayon complex yeah you know one of the biggest archaeological uh, you know monument in Siem Reap. so can you tell us more about that that inception so why why the terrace of the elephant you know, somehow make this place a reality. All right, so uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, timing today and I'm really great pleased for your time that uh, talking about the, uh, the, 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 the main place at Terrace Elephant or South Gate of the Ankle Tombos, uh, restoration by the Addison Ankle because of, uh, this is a one part of uh, over mission, Addison and Co mission that uh, after like more than 25 years that we have been uh, established these companies. So over mission is uh, not only uh, for training and also we are joining to conservation a part mm. of the temples. Uh, not only the not only the terrace of elephant and also uh, we also uh, some other temple uh, surround in Siem and today we have uh, more than like uh, 105 artists who are working uh, very uh, like uh, at the West Maven, at mm. West Maven also. You mean the artists from Adizang's yeah. uncle and then working uh, at West Maven? Yeah, at West Maven. So they work on the... Uh, the yes, the stone carvings, the stone oh. block carving, restore, uh, restore a whole temple complex. Yeah, mm. restoring uh, like uh, that project is under supported by uh, Ministry of uh, Fine Art. Or, uh, which is supported by a friend and also collaborate with Addison and Absara Authority also. Yes, sir. So back then, you know, at the Terrace of the Elephant, so, you know, like uh, the people who, who restored the bar relief, were they, uh, um, they were not part of Artisan Donko, right? They, they were like ordinary restorers and then you grouped them together and then created this. Yes, yes, sure, sure. And uh, that is uh, like a part of uh, the terrace elephant, it means uh, a, 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 a main place that we also uh, uh, carve the new sculptures of yes, the, to put it back at the south uh, at the south gate and also the terrace elephant like the lion. Yes, it was uh, uh, restored with, was there also. Mm. Yeah. Yes, but you know, twenty five more than twenty five years ago, I think that was the nineteen nineties. Yeah. So back then, why why was there an urgent need? to create artisans uncles so like you know maybe you say to preserve the traditional mm -hmm. craftsmanship of yeah. cambodia but at the same time you know back then maybe there were many craftsmen in mm -hmm. the village you know some of them are senior some of them are younger so why why is there a, an urgent need to preserve the tradition when when many craftsmen are already in the village sir uh, i just go back to uh, the period that we are uh, create for this uh, school or the social company, which is uh, in 1992. The mm -hmm. main reason is because of uh, first thing, we want to collect all of over local artists to mm -hmm. work together and then also to add up more skill to them. And the other reason is like uh, because of we want to passing over traditional activity to the new generation and to continue their uh, the work, uh, what mm -hmm. their over ancestor was completed. In, uh, in the ancient past. And uh, the other reason is because of we want to preserve and promote our traditional uh, to the world have and take, which mm -hmm. is mean that uh, when the tourists will come to Siem Reap, to Angkor, and Artisan is one of the part that showing them how all of this stuff were completed, uh, were sold all the tourists, uh, how they make it, how our ancient uh, make it. Yeah, this is over my mission. And the last mission is that uh, because of we want to, uh, we want to maintain or we want to keep uh, this traditional activity to over local people. Yes, sir. Yeah. But in 1992, as you said, mm -hmm. artisans were created. 
Uh, so the, the first batch of artisans, let's say, were they like a senior people, you know, staying in the village, you know, they, they are like, a, you know, senior craftsmen, or are they young people, or is it like a mix of those? Uh, so? Mix of those, yeah, mix oh. of those. And uh, some of those, like, uh, they, are, they are talented, and also, like, uh, for, we know that uh, for the last, uh, for, for, for the, the older age, is not, uh, stay last longer with uh, mm. for the skill, so they have to pass through. So that's why we have to collecting them yes, from uh, that that community and then uh, pass to the new generation. Yeah, pass to the, the generation by training and by sharing what they have done. Yeah. So they were also the restorer from uncle, maybe uh, you know from the 1960s during the French colonial era, uh, something like that. So maybe uh, it's maybe yeah. it's maybe because of some of our uh, master craft. Yes, uh, was uh, take from uh, artisan is uh, asking them from uh, restoration uh, of the angle uh, mm. to join and to help us to training our new generation also. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, again, inside your you know your page, you mentioned that okay, these uh, items, mm -hmm. uh, a large variety of items, yeah. are authentic. Yeah. But you know the word authentic can mean a lot of things. Yes. Authentic in terms of the image, in authentic in terms of the material. Right. But in this case, sir, like, what do you mean by authentic product, authentic Cambodian product? Like, yeah. do you bring the stone from, let's say, only Ongo region, mm -hmm. or maybe the artisans they are only from the Ongo region, or yeah. you know, the way you craft it does not involve any heavy machinery? Yeah. You know, do, I mean, like the 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 human side behind the product, so how do you define authenticity? Oh, see, okay, so talk about the authentic, uh, which is like, like you said that it's, yes, it's very uh, short meaning, it's like globally we're talking about the authentic, uh, which is, uh, we not uh, mentioned about like uh, the, the stone block that we took from that angle era, because of, mm. as we know that after the angle was uh, promoted as a heretic size, so most of the block stone was not uh, bring to come and to everywhere that they can be, but we can take from other places. Like the but, quarry? Yeah, the quarry like, from yes, different sir. queries. So uh, talking about the, the stone blocks here that uh, we carve from the, for the artisan is we took from uh, the other province, which is very far mm -hmm. and then uh, which is us from uh, uh, controlled by over uh, authority that this is not from the, the stone which is located here. and. Uh, which, it, which uh, the other meaning like authentic, uh, which is mean that uh, artisan is try to make something new, which is we copy from the past. For example, mm. like uh, the sculpture of the Buddha, sculpture of the the king, uh, which is we have uh, recall it back by completely by hand. Yeah, completely so by hand. So for example, this one yes. it is uh, an exact replica of uh, of a real statue. Let's yes. say. So. Yes, the real oh. statues that we be took from, and also not only this, and also we can see like a stone base here, uh, which is we are completely make uh, the new block of stone that we make the same the shape of the Bayan's temple face like mm. this one. So we, we can see this is way that we are uh, mentioned about the authentic. So even yeah. the line over yes. here, they are uh, they they retain the exact you know, yeah. originality from, from one of the Bayuan's face. Yes, yeah, sure. So when, when this, like, uh, you know, how do they do it? Like, do they go directly to Bayuan and then you, they, they just sit there and observe and then draw? Yes, sure. Oh. At the first that we are drawing and also uh, the drawing and then they, they, they observe on uh, mm. the measurement and then uh, like they just drawing and then they over artistic, they are work on this one very closely on those sculpture before we are carving uh, uh, stuff. Yeah. Yes, so what, for example, this sculpture alone, how many hours does uh, it talking, take to, uh, to Talking about this one, it's to take us to carve and to put the block of stone together, it approximately like two months and a half. Two months and a half. Two so months and a half. All yes. by hand. All are completely by hand. Yeah. You also mentioned that artisans work on five material, mm -hmm. one of them being stone, wood, yes. silk, lacquer, and also silverware. Yep. So did you all begin on this material at the same time? Uh, the first start like uh, for the stone, uh, for stone and wood, it is, uh, it is the first started. 
but uh, talking about the silk and lacquering is uh, come later. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a technique that we uh, started step by step, but uh, talking about the stone and wood, it is uh, the period that we are, the first period that we are started to create for our school and then uh, give that task to our new, uh, generation to training on stone skill and then uh, started carving on it. Yeah, it but why, why was there a need to extend to other material, let's say, in, in order to, because we haven't, we haven't touched that material yet, so we need to bring it uh, we actually, uh, those is come later because it mm -hmm. related to our uh, traditional activity, mm -hmm. traditional work. I mean, uh, also it contain like traditional use of our ancestor, uh, ancestor also, uh, which means that, for example, like uh, the reality is like silk. So silk, as we know, that it has been used in 10th century. Mm -hmm. uh, in 10th century, so artisan is uh, started in 1994. Uh, to work on a silk process, but uh, we start up with uh, collect, uh, selected all the local people from uh, rural community, different area across the country to coming up and then train and then uh, passing like the technique that they have been and then uh, send them back to the community and work as their own ways. And after that, we try to collect him, them to come and work together and then we set up the like the more research, more uh, technique in order to apply for uh, over, uh, uh, overuse, like traditional use way, like scarf or uh, other clothes. Yeah, other clothes. And yes, sir, like of all, you know, ma the material, which one do you think is the hardest and, you know, followed by the, the easiest, let's say? <laughs> oh, talking about this one, uh, if you're talking about the over technique, all are very complicated and step by step. Mm. I mean, it, 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 each step of those are very uh, talented for uh, challenging or big challenging for mm. over artists also because of, you know what, uh, for example, like when, when we start first look for the lacquer wheel, lacquer ring, it's just like a, a, a frame or pictures frame like this. It's, it seems it's easy to make it, but when we go to the technical, it's so complicated. So we have to smooth, we have to apply each layer of the lacquer and uh, to paint it like uh, in different shape of the flower and then apply uh, the other step of the gold leaf. So it's so complicated. Mm -hmm. It means that uh, those techniques, it based like, uh, I mean, that seem very hard for, for me to identify that which one is easiest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which one is easiest. So all are very complicated and very hard work because of we need more uh, skillful person and more uh, peasant uh, people that will have to work on this one. But so for example, the color, is it like the, the original uh, you know, ingredient that you get from the organic plants uh, or, or something? Uh, for this one, uh, we have, we make like uh, some of the leaf mm. or some of the, this one is lacquer. We mm. also, uh, we do like, Today we have like uh, some chemical uh, color, but it's not affect yeah. to overheal. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's not affect to overheal, which 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 that uh, uh, for the organic is seem very rare in Cambodia right mm. now. Yeah, not not much. Yeah. So it is a mix of a synthetic chemical and yeah. also organic chemical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but uh, because uh, you know there are so many um, sculptures. Mm -hmm. You know, ranging from let's say the one from Uncle and you know Hinduism. Yeah. You know, for example, the lingam and yeah. also the the, uh, the Buddha statue. Yeah. So how how do you get the inspiration from from Angkor Sir? Like, uh, uh, do you do you make every you know thing that Angkor have to offer, or do you keep some part? Uh, we keep we actually uh, we keep uh, we actually we keep some part of those. But mainly, uh, what we have done so far, we are trying to make like uh, the ancient for uh, sewing because of we hear that we are training and then we are uh, sewing the, the, the tourist experience, uh, mm -hmm. how, it, how it done so far in the past. And also it can be like uh, a part of each sculpture, it can be the storytelling beyond. Yeah, storytelling oh. beyond. For example, like uh, the sculpture of the Buddha on Naga, what is the meaning of it? Yeah, mm. and also the king of uh, Jaya Varamanda Seven. What is the story of it? And also, as you mentioned about the sculpture of the Linga, and what is the represented of the Linga? 
the meaning of it. So it means that every sculpture that we have uh, done or we saw in uh, in over uh, product collections, we have the storytelling beyond where we copy from and uh, why it was uh, why we have to uh, sewing. For example, like we, we can see like rooster fighter that. The sculpture yes, over that one there. Is from Bayon, yeah, so it is maybe. from Bayon, and also it's a part from the Angkor Wat temple, also. Mm. Yes, yeah, some part is from the Angkor Wat temple, uh, Angkor Wat also. Yes, sir. But yeah. you know, normally, do you norm, uh, mostly create um, you know practical objects like mm -hmm. like this one, you know, yep. where you can put the objects inside? Yeah. Or is it more like a decorative object? So uh, it's mixed, more decorative mm. and more uh, practical. Yeah, practical. Yeah, more practical. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. But for example, you know, because what if, for example, a customer, mm -hmm. uh, you know, want to create like a, some some image that they like mm -hmm. that they see from uncle, for example, yeah. uh, the image of uh, let's say Rama. Mm -hmm. Do you also make that, or do you only offer them what you have? Sir? Uh, we actually uh, we can uh, consuming uh, we can uh, customize. Uh, the need of the client also, yeah, the need of the client also, and also we also can uh, bring uh, that uh, challenging then story mm -hmm. to uh, back to the client that okay, this is uh, can be uh, customized for, and then uh, for us it because of we are skillful, we are we've been like more than twenty five years over artist is over artisan is very uh, skillful on that. So uh, talking about the way that we are customized, it's okay for us. Yeah, we can make it for them. They can uh, provide us like uh, a part of the pictures that we want. They want, and then we can uh, reproduce it for them using traditional techniques. Yes. Yeah. So basically, what was sculpted a thousand years ago on the mm -hmm. temples can be made here today. Also, no sure. problem. Yeah, today can be. Yeah, can be made it. Yes, sir. But you you mentioned in your page again that you have more than one thousand artisans. Yeah. Sir. yeah. So. How many of them are still from the beginning, and uh, you know how? Let's say you know how how much percentage, you know, are, are younger generation. Let's say so. Now it's uh, more uh, younger generation mm. is more, but uh, most of our artists that who been with the artisan is more than twenty five years, and most of them are stay with us. Mm. Yeah, more of them are stay with us. So. Yeah. How about the recruitment, sir? Like, do you recruit, for example, a specific number of? You know, artisan per year, or you know, only like uh, they just come in and learn, like you have a school or something uh, like that. We so? actually uh, talking about the recruitment. Uh, we will work uh, very closely to the community. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, one of the part that uh, maybe it's uh, over challenging because of uh, it might be a part of we need from our government to support us also. Mm -hmm. uh, technology is work very fast right now and then a new generation is they are not willing to do on site kind like this uh, hand uh, made uh, hand carving and a patient job like like today. Uh, we hopefully that uh, uh, the, the way that they are recruiting is like uh, we are go very closely to the the all of artists that who has the children or the next generation who are very familiar with, and then uh, we are encourage them to come and join with with us with the artisan. This is uh, one of the part that we are we are keep and training for the new generation. Yes, sir. Yeah. But just a quick question, you know, yes, because please. it pops out of my mind. Do you have foreign artisan here or only uh, Cambodian? Only Cambodian. Only yeah, Cambodian. only Cambodian. Yeah. And most of them are from the region of Hong Kong, or uh, all over the, the country, so. All across the country, all across mm. the country. Yeah. Sometimes uh, they are from different part of the province, like Takao, like uh, yeah, like Takao, Bonti and uh, other province also. Yeah. Yes, sir. So how 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 long does it take for them to normally learn about this? Sir? Like for uh, example, sculpt sculpture on stone. Yeah. They learn like many years, something like that. Uh, talking uh, related to the period that we are uh, providing training for uh, the first start, it's just only six months until eight months. Mm. But it's just like uh, from this, like yeah, the but, first page, yeah, yeah like the first page, the beginning. beginning. Yeah. And then uh, we keep uh, let them to continue this, this kind of uh, skill uh, until one more year. Yeah, to, like in, in training, like we would say in training uh, stuff. For one more year, and then and then become the professional or uh, become a professional artist. Yeah. Yes, sir. 
Uh, just like um, more of a philosophical question, so let's say, you know, do you feel like uh, this business, mm -hmm. uh, of course, on culture, because in, in culture there are many things, there are music, right. yep. there are food, yep. there are art, and, and this one is, of course, art. Do you feel like it is an inexhaustible resource that we need to maintain because we, we just need to make the same thing? But yeah. people will just come and buy mm -hmm. because so so do you feel like this is like a resource that never runs out uh, for this 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 course uh, we would say that uh, if the consumer that uh, understand more core value of uh, the culture the value of uh, uh, the the history pool so it might be very uh, meaningful for us like we have to maintain we have to preserve we have to promote uh, to yes, to the world uh, what is going on in uh, in our culture, especially for uh, uh, Cambodian uh, people or Cambodian uh, heritage, especially my uh, Anko era, is the period of times. Yeah. Yes. So maybe now many young Cambodian are interested in becoming craftsmen. <laughs> um, as I mentioned, that uh, yeah. might be because of that. Might be not, and might be yes because mm. of it's based on the technology. Is, technology uh, also. Yeah, so. technology is. It move forward for them, so it means uh, they are very uh, big uh, challenging for them for uh, to go with uh, the craftsmen because of it kind of a patient job, and they have to uh, uh, they have to uh, familiar with uh, what the uh, material, yeah, the, the material. Training. Yes. So uh, for our mission is uh, we want uh, what we want is we want to carry this journey to uh, the world, and then we have we need to more artists to come and promote and then a training and then uh, help them to uh, carry this uh, journey together in order to preserve and to promote our, uh, world, uh, our culture to the world. Yes, sir. Uh, maybe the last question also because there's so many items and yeah. you know some of them are made from very different material. The mm -hmm. hard one is stone and the uh, you know, soft one is silk. So what is the most purchased yeah. Uh, you know, items here at 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 uh, uh, for for the most purchases item is uh, we we have to identify because of yep. it is uh, based on the preference the, the client, yeah the preference but uh, for the for the tourists that for example like uh, we can identify from uh, which country that they, they come most for example oh. like if from the U S it okay. mo some of them they are more like. Uh, Scout, uh, culture art and also they are support like more sculpture so, so even wood. even na yeah. different nationality have different purchasing habits yes so. yes so, so can you elaborate on that so for example you said the u.s yes they, the, they, they like it yeah they like it like for example like if they they come with for the silk yeah for the silk product and also when we had uh as i mentioned that over product we had a story beyond and what is what is the storytelling on on this scarf and mm. what is the technique how they make it and then when the most of most of them they learn from us and they really support us they really purchase it and also uh, to identify uh, to classify that uh, which is the item is uh, uh, more or the best selling is uh, very hard for for me to classify yeah. it because of its based on the nationality yeah. of the tourists. But how about like a Chinese tourist or uh, maybe Japanese tourists? Do, do they love something different than the European tourists? Uh, for the Chinese, uh, for the Chinese, uh, they more like uh, thing different, like more wood, yeah, oh, more, more, wood, wood. more wood work. And for mm. the Japanese, yes, they more like uh, silk, silk product. Yeah, for the silk scarf or silk bag and more Chinese, is, uh, more Japanese, is more, they like that, those more. And uh, how about Cambodian tourists? Uh, Cambodian <laughs> our, our tourists, own yeah, for our own nationality. Now, uh, this is a, a chain that I, I need to promote uh, because of yes, the sir. silk is uh, one of the one of the one of the part that the most of the Cambodian. I mean that before they saw that okay because of the rich family they can buy. Mm. Uh, but now for us we have like unique uh, color, unique. Uh, dye unique uh, it cut so they can use and it is related to our traditional so most of the Cambodian uh, consumer and s some they more like uh, uh, some stuff which is uh, related to over uh, uh, last period for example like the sculpture the 
king mm. and also the buddha sculpture yes and also they are uh, they really love those kind of stuff also so some of the buddha sculpture may end up at the pagodas eh, as a sacred thing also uh, yeah. Yes, like the, they can they can uh, uh, donate to the pagoda. Donate to the pagoda and also they can use for their own house. Yeah, for the decorate. Own. Yeah, decorate in their own families. Yes, yeah. sir. And you also mentioned that uh, in in the page that you also have your own silk making facility near Pu, sir. Yeah. So so everything is authentic, starting from the 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 silk the foam. The silk foam. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we had like uh, there we have over silk farm there and also those are over uh, technique is come from over uh, mm. professional artists uh, to make all over uh, collection over design uh, which is uh, uh, by over local people yeah it was there yes sir yeah. so just uh, also the last question the very very last question mm -hmm. Uh, what is your way of uh, preserving the culture so I mean more than just uh, you know, uh, let's say sustaining the the artisans at the workshop. Do you like um, you know, do like research mm -hmm. or maybe documentation yeah. in order to preserve it as as a text? Sure, so. sure. Uh, talking about this one, uh, we we also uh, we did uh, research on uh, because of we have different department uh, doing on on this so far yeah. like uh, we have uh, artistic department mm. and uh, even the production and also we also uh, motivate to over uh, artists that we are combining like the best artists for example like uh, they have grouping of uh, over stone and wood carving uh, work they can uh, create by their own way uh, in order to mm. contest for the, the best artist by uh, pick up uh, some of the other sculpture from other temple to uh, create uh, their own way which is uh, uh, passing by over uh, management team in order to check evaluate them so this is a way that we are preserve it and also uh, uh, one interestingly is that uh, this is a, a part of the way that we keep promote our culture our traditional by uh, uh, having all of this stuff to the world Mm -hmm. And also uh, let the tourists that they come to same day to Angkor, and uh, during their free time they have to learn from us. Also, they need to learn from us uh, because of it's very important. You uh, mean like they all they yeah the chance to yeah. sculpt they, to, they, to, they, to they paint to so mm -hmm. uh, the sculpture was made and also when they have an experience here for sure that we learn a lot from our traditional uh, activity yes but but from the emotion do you do you see that you know after they do it they feel very engaging with yes. the culture sure sure they feel engaging for uh, what they have done so far